Man, Lily just gave the torch to Spider-Man, bro. They can't just cancel it, man. I understand you got Disney and Sony. They're too greasy, greasy, greedy behind companies. But come on, they all got to reach some kind of agreement. I'm not going to talk. I'm not, I don't want to talk any longer. So let's just hop in right into this video, man. Let's see what we got, man. Hey, guys. So chances are you have seen the article and the videos going around. Marvel and Sony have reached a deal, and there's a whole rundown of everything that is a apparently involved with this. All right. This all comes from Instagram photos of two friends posting a photo. Now let's talk about why you shouldn't take this at face value at all. Because, and I think most of you know why, but I don't know why people are starting to believe it. I, I guess we just want to like grab onto any piece of hope that's out there. So as always, before we get into this, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. So before we get into this video, a lot of you reached out to me recently for a video I did last October, which I got a lot of hatred for. I'm gonna put it right up here for you guys. Go watch it. It's where I say that Spider-Man is leaving the MCU. And a lot of people have watched that video going, how did you know it was coming? And I'm gonna tell you exactly what I'm telling you and what I've been telling you this whole time. You huh. have to look at the patterns and the language they use and just look at how the studios are moving forward to understand what's coming down the road. That's how I was able to get to the conclusion that yeah, Fox is gonna be sold to Disney and those characters are coming. Exactly how years ago I was able to come up with the conclusion that hey yeah, um, Spidey's gonna join the MCU. It's their only way they can go, right? It, it, you just kind of have to use it, and then you talk to some people, if you know some people in the industry, and you start to come up with things as you hear things that are sent your way and what the people behind the scenes are saying. But this okay. latest one really takes the cake as the biggest bunch of BS I've seen. And I'm sorry to come off like this, I really am, but there's a lot of people believing this, and there's literally nothing to back this up. No Deadline, or Hollywood Reporter, or even The Rap, or like Variety, nothing. This is coming from a source that's known for fabricating a bunch of bullcrap. I mean, they said Captain Kennedy was being fired from Disney like five times. I mean, Captain Marvel was going to actually kill the MCU. Endgame wasn't going to be Avatar. The MCU was splitting into multiple different directions and Spider-Man was headlining it. That was like three weeks ago. Okay, so I'm not going to name the source here because they don't deserve that click from you guys. But most of you have already messaged me with it. Sorry mm. this took a while, but I just had to get down to the details of why this is bullcrap. And now we're going to get into what the contract actually says. Contract. So first and foremost, Tom Holland posts four pictures of him and Robert Downey Jr. And hey. this is somehow confirmation. This is confirmation. First up, Tom Holland is in California because he's obligated to be there. Second up, Robert Downey Jr. was in California and okay. is in California because of D23. Because he's going to be honored. He got together with a friend and they took some photos. Robert Downey Jr. was also there because he was making a major announcement with the Rolling Stones as part of NASA. Which has been in the works for months if you just follow the trail. So now here's what this apparent confirmation of this photo on Instagram has led to. A six-picture deal with Tom Holland with an option for a seven. There are three more Spider-Man films after Spider-Man 3, which will be a new trilogy. The second trilogy will focus on Peter Parker's college years, including him teaming up with Iceman, Firestorm, and the X-Men. The other three hey, come on, we want to see that, bro. ...in which Spider-Man will have a larger role and become friends with Johnny Storm. Marvel Studios will helm and co-produce all Spider-Man-related movies for up to 30 percent of the profits. Disney previously wanted 50, but Sony said no, which led to the talks falling apart. Sony would distribute, but Disney will acquire exclusive digital and online rights for the Disney Plus and affiliate TV networks. Marvel Studios will helm and co-finance Spider-Verse live-action spin-offs under the same terms. Venom will relocate into the MCU. Sony ah. will be given permission for TV live-action programs based on Spider-Verse properties. Disney wants the deal to be done before Saturday's Marvel panel at D23. Spider-Man is also set to be a part of the D23 Expo panel. So this is all everything we've heard in the last six months, just like restated in another article. So why are people believing this? I get it. You want to cling on to hope. I get what you're doing, and it's out there, and people are sharing it. And people are making videos about it, but there is no concrete proof about this. What I always say when I come on these videos, you guys can quote me on this. I give you my honest opinion, and I look at it with logical eyes. And I go, well, this is probably nonsense, or hey, this might happen, and here's why, as history dictates. There is nothing behind this. There is zero proof behind any of this. And coming from such a shady source, yeah, you can't trust those kind of sources, bro. That there's nothing 
from this. Dang. Now, yes, a deal could be reached. I've talked to someone just recently. I tweeted about this this morning. They're still in talks. They're trying to hash it out. Disney really wants this to work. Yes, Brass, we all do. Nothing yet has been confirmed. Now, might they confirm something for tomorrow and come out and announce, yep, Spidey has a future in the MCU? Sure. There is no way we're going to know the contract details. And how do I know this? And how do I know this is all make-believe? Well, because the same people that have been reporting this for literally years have been saying that Disney didn't make a single dollar off the Spider-Man deal. Then we learn that they made 5%, meaning Disney's been making 50 to 55 million off each Spider-Man film that's come out under the Disney Homecoming deal. So you see what I mean here? There's always contractual details that are out there that we don't know. But right, there's always stuff going on down behind the scenes that we don't know about. Has a rundown of the complete contract. Y'all really believe that? This video is going to get so many dislikes because I'm telling you the truth, just like I told you the truth in October. I know this. But go ahead. Go ahead. Believe the shadiness. Hey, man. Listen, we all want Spider-Man to be back in the MCU. 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 We get it. We, we all want it. That's all we, that's all we want. But we got, we, we got, we have to trust it from a reliable source. We just, we have to, we can't just trust any old site. We have to, it has to be like a reliable source that we can actually lean on and trust on. And, and, and strongly believe, you know, strongly believe that they can work hash this out. That's what we all want. But... You just gotta wait, man. We just gotta wait and see what happens, see how all this folds up, man. So I only got much to say about this. I wanted to make a separate video about this, but I feel like, you know what? It's all it's all good. So I changed my mind. So I don't got much, much else to say. So if you guys did enjoy this video, make sure you guys drop a like, comment, and subscribe, and uh yeah, see you guys in my next video. Stay, stay, stay fresh, my work is good one, and uh Yeah. Bye Z Excuse me, your boy perp. All right, guys.